Yo, I uh, just want to make a brief video. Uh, I'm going to share a tweet in the description of this video that's uh, like an actual chart of what I'm going to describe here. This is a technical update. Uh, I don't have time to like sit at my computer and make a video, all that stuff, because I'm busy. But uh, <clears throat> basically, I just want to explain something right quick, okay? So whenever we're in a retracement, as we are right now, um, you're basically what you're what you're looking for is levels that you can see a reversal at, right? I prefer to use Fibonacci as well as relevant levels, but on a more macro sense, like what we're doing right now on the retracement from the move of $13 or so up to $34 or so, I prefer to use Fibonacci over relevant levels. Uh, it's just something that I do. So right now, um, the, the Fibonacci golden pocket, the bottom of it is about $18.18 .18, uh, by my most recent measurement. And the next level down would be uh, seventeen dollars and like twenty cents is right around. Uh, basically, what it is is it's just a ratio of the two prices. Okay, so you can actually mathematically draw it if you wanted to, but uh, they use a tool to make it easier. Uh, the next level down, and historically speaking, um, AMC does, as we say always on the channel. A lot of people always say this on Twitter because <laughs> I'm kind of you know I've kind of made it a thing. AMC does like it's seven, eight, six retracements. It just prefers them, okay? That level is like $15.90-ish, I believe. Uh, I don't have the chart in front of me. Go look at the chart that I share in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with what I'm thinking more frequently. If you're just following me on YouTube, then you're not getting like the full scoop of what I'm thinking at least. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let me explain how this works. You have a retracement, all right? We're in a bearish trend. We just broke out of a falling wedge and the potential scenarios, and look, I was bullish. I was relatively bullish. I didn't think that we would retrace this deeply, but I did change after we broke through a few levels and I realized, hey, we're gonna see a further retracement. While that's happening, each level is going to be represented as a zone of support, okay? Until it's broken, if it's broken and held, then it's going to be come resistance, and then you're likely to go down to the next level below, okay? So uh, it's more difficult to call bottoms in that sense, especially when you're looking at a more zoomed in retracement like we are right now, rather than a very macro retracement. Um, but that's basically how it works, right? So like it becomes not a retracement, but rather a continuation if you break down and you create a lower low, right? So if we break the local low, which was like $13 and some change, I don't remember the exact dollar amount. Um, if we break that, then what it becomes is a Fibonacci extension, okay? And so then what you're looking for is... Probably what I would look for is more macro retracement levels um, for the extension of that larger retracement. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. That's like a brief overview of how I use Fibonacci uh, in layman's terms. Uh, again, go check the description uh, for the tweet. Follow me on Twitter, everything like that. <clears throat> and you'll actually see the chart that I'm describing. Maybe rewatch the video alongside it when you're looking at the chart. Um, and hopefully that'll make it make more sense. I should make, I really should make just tutorials that explain everything. Uh, but I just don't, you know, like, I'm not a YouTuber, you know. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, I'm not a YouTuber, so. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I make YouTube videos. So I. Uh, I think I'm a YouTuber in that sense because I make YouTube videos. But anyway, uh, yeah, and one day, dude, one day, I'm gonna sit down. I'm not gonna do anything else for an entire like week. And I'm just gonna do full tutorials that will last forever and be able to be watched forever uh, that explain and I can point back to forever 
to explain my methodology. That will happen. But if you've been watching the channel consistently, if you've been following me on Twitter, paying attention to the way that I explain these things, you should be catching on. It's just that I sometimes I notice something that like maybe I've never fully described in this way. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, and if not, just let me know that, you know, I suck. Uh, that's cool. Hit the dislike. Uh, slam me down in the algorithm and force me to fail in all my shillness. <laughs> all right. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.